Okay. We just went through the process of creating creating a paperback cover on Canva. Now I want to do the next step, which is uploading it to KDP. Now, even if you're going to upload the paperback elsewhere, you can use KDP to get a sense of how it fits, how it works, whether it's set up, its margins, et cetera, are, are, are appropriate. So here's the image we had. Again, don't worry, you know, I mean, there's a lot of editing to be done, but what you do is you download it to PDF, okay, PDF print, download. Okay, so while that's happening, now we recall we were, we did the paper, we set up the paperback, but we, we used an existing cover. And so what we want to do is go here. This is fine. Next page, hitting save and continue. Okay, now upload your cover file. Straightforward. It'll open to, or well, you want to get it to uh, doc, uh, downloads, and it this was the one I just downloaded. Okay, save successful. I'm going to launch Previewer. Okay, now while it is doing that, I'm going to try to pause this because this takes a while. So let me stop the share. There we are. And hit pause. And I'll be right back when it's up. Okay, it looks like we finally have the preview from the print preview from Amazon and here it is. This is now we've already looked at the other stuff so we don't have to go there. But here's our cover. Now you can see there are a number of problems. Now this on the on the back cover obviously this is all crazy because it has to be much smaller etc cetera, etc cetera. we spoke about that. But here are the two issues I see on the front or the one on the front and one on the spine. The front this is way over too, is over too far. Okay, you have to keep everything within this red line. It's over too far and on the spine, it's over too, uh, it's too big because it's not fairly narrow and it's over too far to the left. So that's fine. What we do is simply just go back. Okay, return here. Remember we had this whole thing about editing it. All we wanna do, you can do this as often as you want is move that. First of all, we want to move this a bit, the, the, um, the spine, come on. Okay, it's a little too big. So let's make it a bit smaller. Obviously, by making it smaller, we need to put some returns. Okay, now we do exactly what we did before. We download a PDF, print, Download. That's what I'm doing. I'm going up. I'm going up to the corner, hitting download. Boom. It's downloading. And while we're waiting for that, okay, it's downloaded. Now all we want to do, all we need to do now is update your cover. All we're doing is re-uploading the cover. And once I send it, send it to the preview, I'll put it on pause again. I'll wait. Uh, and then we'll come back. So here we go. And it looks like we've gotten uh, our preview back. There it is. Is it perfect? Probably not. Um, it's tough with this print face, but it can work. Um, this is better. Okay. I don't have to worry about the rest because we've already looked at that. And let's assume it was ready to go and you hit approve. Doesn't publish when you hit approve, but what you can do is it tells you how much the cost is, save and continue. And then what you do is you go down, you bring proof, you ask for printed, you ask for a proof before it's published. Okay. 
and then you get proofs and you make sure it all makes sense to you. So that's it on getting the book up to, uh, we started from scratch and now we have a book cover with the cover ready to go. And so as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this has proved useful. I tend to go through things pretty quickly. And all I really want you to know is that these are the things you're capable of doing with Canva, with KDP, et cetera. So that's it. And thank you.